So last week was Halloween, this week is Christmas. Welcome to the weekend, guys. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. I am in line at Starbucks. Woohoo. Okay, so let's just do a little explanation about my face and my hair today. Today is Friday. I only put mascara on and a little bit of like foundation and cover up or whatever. Um, and I did not wash my hair this morning because I am going to go get my hair done this afternoon as soon as I get off work. So that's kind of why I look the way that I look. So, um, I just kind of want to be relaxed and chilled when I'm getting my hair done. So that's why I didn't, um, sorry, my nose. Um, that's why I didn't put any makeup on or do my hair. And that's, that's the reason why. Um, so, yeah, yay, super excited about being able to get my hair done, because it's take, it's like been forever. So, um, because you could see how, like, how the roots are so, like, it's so dark now, so I'm going to be getting more blonde highlights in there, and it's going to be trimmed up, because I have some really bad dead ends, split ends, and, um, yeah, it's time for, a, it's time for a haircut, time for a change. Hello, friends. I am home, or actually I'm on the go once again. I just got home and I changed clothes really quick. Actually, I took a shower really quick. Um, I just felt grubby because um, I didn't wash my hair this morning, so I just kind of felt grubby and I just wanted to take a really quick shower um, and get the grub feeling off me. And then I, I didn't wash my hair again, but I do have it pulled up because I'm getting ready to go. I'm leaving right now to go get it done. So I'm excited to have that nice and fresh. Um, but right now I am actually going to go into a bitch section. So a bitch, a bitch session, not section, a bitch bitching session. So seriously, if y'all don't want to hear me bitching about something, I suggest you fast forward it and check back in with me later because I'm about ready to let loose. All right, so this morning I get to work and obviously I check my emails and I had put in my request um, for my uh, Disney trip. <clears throat> Actually, I had a written request back on September 21st. I had sent that to my supervisor, letting him know in advance, three months in advance, that I will be requesting December 18th and December 21st off for our Disney trip. And uh, I went forward and I bought tickets and all this good stuff. So anyway, and I let him know this. <clears throat> Anyway, that same day that I sent that email, he actually came into my office and because um, he, he had to do some paperwork or whatever and I had to sign some stuff. Anyway, so he comes in, so we're talking about it. He's like, yeah, as long as you let me know, you know, in advance um, that uh, you um, have a, a trip that you're going to, especially something that has tickets that can't be refunded, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, just totally let me know in months in advance and, you know, we will got, we got it covered. We'll get it covered. So I'm like, excuse me, cool. So that's what I went with. Now, at the time, I did not have, you know, enough hours available to cover what I was requesting, um, but I knew that I would have those hours available when the time came. So that's why I always send him that email in advance. So anyway, I put in my request to have, um, to take the days off or whatever, and he denied my request. After all of that, I went through. So he denied my request. Uh, so I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with him, obviously not to be belligerent or anything like that with him. Um, but I did let, let him know like specifically what he had told me that day while we were sitting down talking. So anyway, I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with him. And then um, finally he's like, well, he's like, the 21st is fine. I can get somebody to cover the 21st. Just the 18th, we can't. I only need four hours on the 18th. I work four hours on a Friday. Who the hell can't cover four hours? Jeez. So anyway, so he's like, if the office doesn't need you that day, he goes, and I'm perfectly fine with you, you know, just taking off that day. So... <clears throat> When I go back to work on Monday, I was just so pissed off today that I just didn't even feel like talking to the other girl regarding the schedule because I'm like, if something 
just like I would have been like so bad so I needed to like change my attitude because I was at work so obviously I put on a smiley face and nothing was bothering me right so nothing um, so I'll just wait till Monday and I will ask them about that Friday um, and see uh, what the deal is see if somebody can just go ahead and you know cover for me for those four hours that they need um, hope they're never really busy on a Friday anyway like today I had one draw one draw today so they're not busy at all so I don't see what the problem would be so um, anyway but that just it just made me mad because I put I I asked for this stuff in way in advance and we discuss it and you know I always feel like I get screwed every single time so seriously I like texted my husband this morning and I'm like if it wasn't for having this damn insurance I would be quitting like today would have been like my day my last day done but oh no we have to freaking have insurance so anyway so there is my bitch session and now I'm going to end it but you guys my frustration clearly clearly is warranted my my frustration is warranted so here it is there's a the look um, she just kind of just blow dried it really and then just you know didn't really style it much hey guys so we are about ready to head out to dinner I am just waiting for Brian to um, get his shirt and shoes on and we are headed out to a new Italian restaurant here in our local town. Um, my hair is looking a little bit better. I kind of like fixed it from where she like didn't. So, um, and I'm liking it. Brian doesn't like it because he says it's too short. He just doesn't like short hair, but oh well, it's my hair. I can do what I want though. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm excited about this new restaurant. Hopefully I'll like it. I'm very, very picky about my Italian restaurants because the only Italian restaurant that I like is Olive Garden. What is your favorite Italian restaurant, guys? So I will check back in with you guys later. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, guys. Happy Saturday. Um, I wanted to show you guys what came in the mail today. My red shirt that says Home for the Holidays. Does anybody recognize this gorgeous castle right here? So I'm super excited that this shirt came in and it looks like it's going to fit me well. So I am happy about that. Look at the little snowflake details or Mickey's. So I'll be wearing this on our trip. I wanted to show you guys the bench that I bought from um, a lady on our local for sale thread. I love this bench. Brian had to cut the legs off a little bit because it was a little too high to sit up here, so I couldn't like see up there. So um, anyway, he cut the legs off of it for me and um, now it fits perfectly and I absolutely love it. So what am I doing today? I am, I look a hot mess, but I'm afraid to show you guys because it's just bad, but here we go. Do not adjust your screens because this is how I look right now. Um, hair is pulled back because I am busy getting out all of my Christmas decorations. I'm just going to kind of do a slow process on it. I started working on the fireplace mantle and I just separated all the tree um, branches to put on our tree and now I can't find my pole that my pre tree branches go on. So Brian has to go up in the attic and find that for me. Um, we are supposed to go down to my neighbors tonight for the Alabama game about seven o'clock or so. Um, so I'll, that means I'm going to have to take a shower and get ready about five 30 or so and get my house together before then. I've also been doing laundry and cleaning in between all this. So I'm almost finished. I'm just going to actually put my Christmas tree up and, um, just get everything organized and put in spots that way it's not so, um, like messy throughout the week. And then I'm going to start working on more stuff tomorrow and then obviously stop and take a break and then I'll work on more stuff next weekend so um, that is what I am doing today if you guys are interested in sticking around with me please do so and I will see you guys later Bye. so I wanted to show you guys the mess that I call Christmas decoration Christmas decorating <laughs> decorations Christmas decorating anyway so I have my tree branches laid out Brian is up in the attic right now looking for the pole and um, this is my fireplace mantle so far. Obviously it's not done yet. So um, it's just a big huge mess. And this is what the mess is gonna look like until decorating is commenced. Um, anyway, there is another tree that I have out that I have to foof up. I still have to get those fall decorations down, cut up the fall decorations out. And let's go see if Brian is. Any luck with the pole, babe? 
Ah, yes. That's what I thought. I kind of had a feeling it was up there. Grab Here it. is your pole. <laughs> oh, brother. So, I got my tree up, and I have all the lights on it. Um, I just put um, some uh, garland around it, some burlap garden garland around it. Um, so, I just got that started today. I'm not going to do any more. And then um, I didn't finish my mantle or anything. I'm still going to be working on that because I still have to dig out all my ribbon and my ornaments that I hang on there. But um, it is started, so that is good. I um, have some totes in here with Christmas stuff in them. I need to put my uh, fall centerpiece away and work on my Christmas centerpiece. I have my fall glasses that are right there that I have to put away in my Halloween uh, mugs and I don't know how a Valentine mug got left out but it did so I had to put that stuff away and my orange lantern over there I have to put away I have all my deer out and I have my lights that I picked up at Walmart the other day just these little flickering lights I have those out I put this tree here and it lights up. Let's see if I can get that plugged in really quick. This lights up. So I just usually sit it here. So that lights up. That just has to be decorated. Um, I put bulbs inside this centerpiece. Um, but this isn't done yet, obviously. I still have to, um, you know, put my stuff out and get that all together. And then I... Um, put some of the stuff started putting some of the stuff on my window sill above my sink so um, yeah it's coming along just a slow process because I have a lot of things that I have to put up so um, it's just a slow slow process so right now I'm going to um, fold up these clothes that I just got out of the dryer and um, probably let's see what time it is 2 30 um, oof, I was going to try to do something else, but I don't know if I'm going to do it right now. I think I'll probably shower and get myself maybe together because I have to film a video to put up for Wednesday. So, um, I will check back in with you guys after I'm done. Oh yeah. One thing oh. I did forget to show you guys, um, last Sunday after I ended the vlog, I had my husband hang up this, uh, mirror above my table here just to give, just to have something different. Um, I had that mirror, um, hanging above our bed when we lived in Alabama and I never had it hung up anyplace else. So I thought, Hmm, I think I'll have him hang it up. So I have him, I had him hang it up right here. And so I love it there. And then I have to decorate this stuff, which I have that little Christmas tree and the little raccoon out um, that I showed you guys last week that I picked up at Target. And then I have just that thing sitting there for now. Haven't even started in here yet. So anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. Hey guys. So I am on my way to the grocery store even though we were already there this morning but we did not know that we were going to be getting together with our neighbors again this evening and they kind of asked for everybody to bring a dessert well i always make chocolate chip cookies i just did not feel like making them today um, because i've kind of been busy with everything else so i am going to um maybe get like an apple pie or something to make to bring with some vanilla ice cream and stuff because i don't know it's just that type of year kind of year and time of year my god time of year to have apple pie and something i was gonna make like a peach cobbler but oh, i don't know i'll have to like look at a recipe to know what how to make the peach cobbler not how to make it i know how to make a peach cobbler i've done it before but it's like anyway so it is let me tell you how warm it is outside we have had obviously our air on all day it's 68 degrees outside it is muggy and humid and it sucks because it's like hello it's november and i want cooler weather because you know it's kind of like hard to decide what you're going to wear when you go outside because it's like hmm do i wear shorts or do i wear jeans um do i wear short sleeves or do i wear long sleeves I know, but that's what you get for living in the South because it can never make up its mind. But um, anyway, so we've had the air on and I have the air on in my car right now. So anyway, this is what my hair looks like, guys. It's kind of like done. You know, I 
obviously just washed it and blow dried it and gave it a little curl and a bounce or whatever and it's not like curled the way that I want it to be curled it's kind of hard because I didn't like do a hard curl because I don't want it to be like a big huge like curly bob it's just supposed to be like loose curls so I don't know what do you guys think it's so hard to do my hair right now and my face is so red because I'm hot because I've been constantly like moving and then I took a hot shower and I put makeup on to my hair and I always stay hot. Woo, it's not hot. So that is not blush, ladies. That is red face from being hot. So anywho, so um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to let you guys know that I was headed to the store. Just to check in and say hey because I told you guys that I would it's kind of a boring boring weekend for us actually because we're not doing anything exciting or anything great um, but that's kind of we've had our couple fun for the past couple weekends and eh, now it's time to just settle down and chill for a while so I'm gonna drive and I will check back in with you guys later bye hey guys so I'm actually testing my camera to see how well it'll work in the dark and see if it picks me up it doesn't look like it's going to because I know that I'm going to be filming a lot when we go to Disney um, and I know nighttime so I'm just trying to see how well it's going to pick up and from what I can see it's not going to do a great job but there isn't a lot of lighting out here either because we're like in front of my house and stuff so anyway we are walking down to uh, my neighbor's house to watch the Alabama and LSU game it is like almost eight o'clock so here we go Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. We're just waking up and it's about 7.30. I woke up at 7.30. It's about 10 to 8 now. And uh, trying to get my day started slowly. It's day 8. Day 8 of rain and clouds and it has got to go. I mean, seriously, this is the craziest thing. I'm going to have to like go to a tanning bed just to get some UV rays. This is nuts. But uh, anyway, so I um, am making my breakfast right now. I'm just making some scrambled eggs, and then I'm going to put them in a tortilla shell. I probably shouldn't have two, but I should have one because it's like portion size or whatever. So I'm going to have one, and, um, and then I'm going to get started on cleaning up my house and everything. Um, I actually want to go see um the charlie brown movie today so i we might go do that if he doesn't want to go then i'll go by myself but um yeah it's just like one of those days um but if i do go it'll be like 12 30 so i'm gonna have to hustle and get my stuff done that i need to get done around here that way i know that it's done um before i leave so um that's the plan and uh, if you guys are interested in sticking, with, sticking around with me today, please do so. If not, then I will see you guys next weekend. Bye for now. Hello, friends. Good afternoon. It's still morning. It's 1130. But I am headed to a movie. And uh, I'm going alone because Mr. Brian did not want to go with me this morning. So I decided to go to the movie by myself. So I am going to go see the Charlie Brown movie. Because I am a huge like Charlie Brown fan as well. I love of all of the um, Charlie Brown shows that um, have been out ever since I was a kid. I watch all of them every single year when they're out, like the Christmas one and the Halloween one and Snoop, Snoopy Come Home one and all those. So anyways, I am headed to go watch that movie and enjoy a few hours of some alone time. Um, and Brian is going to stay behind and he's going to fix my bench for me because it needs to be reinforced. So um, that is that. And I have um, my striped shirt on today that I got from Old... No, I did not get this striped shirt from Old Navy. Oh! <gasps> I got this striped shirt from Walmart like a couple of weeks ago because I was looking for like a black and white striped shirt and I was in the checkout line and I kind of seen it behind me and I'm like, ooh, I need that black and white striped shirt. So I picked it up along with a red and white striped shirt. And then um, I do have a um, like a vest on that it is from Old Navy, a red vest from Old Navy I got last year and then just a scarf. I don't know where I got this scarf from. 
but anyway so uh yeah there is my outfit and i have a pair of jeans on i think they're just my old navy jeans and i have my black converse tennis shoes on um with my outfit today and that is it so i am i am on my way and i'm actually a little on the early side hey guys so I just got out of the movie and it was like super, super cute. If you guys like Charlie Brown and his little friends, I suggest that you go see it. I love that they kept the movie like so original and so to the like um, real characters of the Charlie Brown and Peanuts gang. Um, nothing was like uh, added for like today's times or anything like that. So I absolutely love the fact that they just kind of kept everything original and um, and kept Charlie Brown who Charlie Brown is. So uh, anyway, yeah, so that's it. And I am headed home right now. It's like 48 degrees outside. It's raining. It is so cold outside. It's like I just want to go home and get some jammies on and curl up with my heating blanket and have a hot cup of tea. So, um, but I think I have a couple more. I have two more loads of laundry to do and then I will be done and I'll be ready for uh, the week. So um, anyway, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, hanging out with me this weekend. I know it wasn't anything exciting, but um, I do appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the like button. Give it a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys next weekend. Take it, take it easy guys. Bye! So one of you guys was asking what we have um, above our carport and what the stairs lead to. So I said that I would show you guys what it is, um, but it is like pouring down rain right now. So, and I just took my makeup off my face. It's like uh, crappy and my eyes are watery. So let's take a walk up these stairs so I can show you guys inside the shed so you guys can see what is in there. It's not like anything exciting, but ew, it is so sink and soggy back here too and like yuck. So I hope you appreciate this, that I'm out here in the rain with my camera showing you guys what is up here. And it's ugh, right here. Oh yeah, I see he's got a little leak there. Anyway, um, so this is it. This is the the big excitement that everybody was curious to know about, or somebody was curious to know about. I don't know if it's light, yeah. There we go. Look, it's a shed, a man cave, old license plates. My boys' skateboards are up here. Just things that we need sometimes and things that we don't. Fishing stuff, cat carriers, a tent for outside chairs fishing poles i mean you name it everything anything and everything is up here so it that's what's in here so i hope you guys enjoyed that little sneaky peek of what was in our shed above the carport so woo, yuck and it is so freaking cold outside oh yuck oh uh, this is my backyard view that's what my backyard looks like from way up here uh but anyway Hope you guys enjoyed that. Once again, I'm gonna get in the soppy, soppy mess. You guys are so welcome for that. All right, thanks so much for watching. I See you guys next to week. End this Bye. vlog, but it just doesn't happen that way. So this is that bench that Brian is working on for me, and he's putting in reinforcements because when I sat down on it, the legs were splitting, you know, so it was bending in the center. So um, he is putting reinforcements in there and he cut the ends off. I think I said this for me too, to make it um, shorter. So I would be able to use it at my makeup table. But here are the reinforcements that he um, painted to put on and screw in for me. So he is a great handy man. Yes, he is. I love that bench. 20 bucks. Look how cute that is. All right. Love and it. somebody asked me as well how I get my window up there. Um, basically, I just kind of um, lean it. I know I kind of have it already like set up so you can't really see it, but I kind of just like tilt it out so I bring it out further and then just tilt it back. And then I keep like, again, I don't know if you can see it or not, see that little round um, felt pad right there. I keep that there um, 
just so it doesn't slip. So I just kind of brace it with that as well. But it's not going to slip or, or flip over anything because I have it tilted enough to where it won't. But anyway, so that's how I keep that up there. But um, I'm still working on my fireplace mantle. I haven't gotten um, it done yet. I still have to hang ornaments and stuff from there and put my ribbon in there. So, um, but that's what it looks like for now. And I'll show you guys a finished product when it's all done with a nice Christmas house tour. And, um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys too that I picked these up at um, TJ Maxx. How cute was this? Look at that cute little horse. And um, I got this one too. Look how cute he is. I love them. Those are like the cutest little horses. I couldn't like pass those up. They're $4.99 for both of them. So $4.99 for two of those cute little horses. Absolutely love them. Aren't those precious? Love those. Um, so anyway, that is finally it guys for um, this weekend vlog. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next weekend. Bye!